Hey there, everybody. The sun is out, and uh, today's plan is to ride to Paso Robles. So the route we're taking is this road called uh, Santa Rita Road. It's uh, mixed rain, so part paved, and hopefully not muddy. It rained all last night, so we'll see what the road conditions are. All right, so the first part of today's route, uh, not very inspired. Just going from uh, Morro Bay to Cayugos, essentially following the coastal route. The road gets more interesting and a lot quieter. Uh, once we turn off from the coast. So, let's just get to that part. So it's windy, and uh, you do have to hop on a stretch of the highway, so you lose the front end of the road for a little bit. But if you go early, the traffic's not too bad. And we just turned off to Old Creek Road, which will connect eventually to Santa Rita Road, and into Paso. So, the first time we rode this was about 11 or 12 years ago on our way to Great Western Bike Rally. I do remember it climbs fairly good and just as I say that I can see the, the start of the hill up there. Ah, but sun's out. Hopefully things aren't too muddy. Famous last words. So this is another one of those roads when we first rode it over a decade ago, it felt like a mountain. I mean, it is a mountain. It is. It's just a small mountain. Yeah. It's not like a mountain mountain, like the, the kind we have in Montana. <laughs> This scenery is pretty awesome for this time of year. So green. Definitely have to time it in between storms though. <laughs> Seriously, this landscape is unreal right now. So hopefully you guys can see why we keep coming back. I mean, this place is running, it's awesome. Red is pretty good. So we made the turn to Santa Rita Road off of Old Creek Road. Uh, there's a pa there was a sign back there that said pavement ends in a mile. So this is where things will get either gravelly or muddy. <laughs> gravel, gravel. So what do you I think of that? Gravel. What do you think of that stretch of road? Oh, uh, gorgeous. <laughs> parts of it match up to my memories and parts of it don't. Right. But it's still a beautiful road to ride. <laughs> It's so unreal how green it is right now. <laughs> There's our official pavement end sign. And we we're off pavement. A little tacky. Definitely uh, some slushier parts off, off to the side. But nice and smooth so far. All right, so this uh, road climbs to about 1,500 feet, so we're just gonna take it easy, spin up, I think answer some uh, viewer questions. <laughs> One question was, uh, what tires we're riding? Uh, I have the Soma Casaderos. I think they're 700 by 50. So far, I got no problems with them. <laughs> they ran nice and fast on the pavement, and so far they're doing really well on this kind of uh, tacky dirt. And I'm running the uh, Specialized Pathfinder Pro 650B by 47. So, full on supple life. So another question we got was, uh, why run front panniers? I would say uh, personal preference. I think it, the bike climbs better uh, if you can go lightly loaded and have the panniers on the front. What do you think? I think rear panniers are so, 2008. <laughs> the Viet is fine. These panniers uh, are super light. I think that's the nice thing about this trip. We're not carrying camping stuff or cook stuff, so it's just clothes and coffee. So I probably wouldn't weigh this bike down with anything more. The Velo Orange has a low trail geometry, so kind of designed for a front load. Handles pretty neutral, so that is why. So, 
started raining. <laughs> I guess it's a warm rain, relatively. <laughs> warmer than Montana, warmer than when we did the uh, Ochico Overlander, but we would like to see a little bit more sun. Hey, lucky us. It's hailing. It's not rain. <laughs> No, it's uh, definitely hail. Lucky for us, there's this uh, nice canopy of oak trees here where we can uh, kind of hide. Yay! So on. Fun! <coughs> you having fun? Where's the vacation part of my vacation? <laughs> uh, it's not here. <laughs> oh wow, you can really hear it. Yeah, we were riding and all of a sudden the rain just got really loud. <laughs> it's not rain. So, a couple upsides, I guess is that there's some cover in the trees so we're not totally exposed. <laughs> I think we're below the snow line. I guess that's good. This is as long as we get a view when we get up to the top. We get a view of Jack. <laughs> Yay, so the sun decided to come back out again just in time. We're part of the route where it's really starting to open up and uh, we're getting some killer views now. King Steeper. So I think uh, this road, uh, as good if not better than we remember, so dang green right now. You expect little hobbits to run out from the side of the road. made it to the top. What do you think? I think it's steeper than I'm in shape for right now, but <laughs> uh, beautiful. Still a beautiful ride. Um, I wish that it was a little less cloudy because the ocean is actually right there, but it kind of gets blended in with the clouds. Yeah. We leave the ocean and descend into the valley where Paso Robles is. Hopefully it's not too muddy. And I think from here it's generally just downhill and kind of rollers into town. Okay, so I think we're gonna have a snack and just head on through. Just uh, finished the descent, which I think might have been harder than the climb because it was super cold. Feet is drenched. I think there's a big stripe up my back and basically everything. The road on the descent was a lot more washed out too. Yeah. Like it was in better shape going up for sure. Well, I think we're just 10 miles from town, so we might just book it, find some more food. <laughs> So we uh, rolled into town, have gotten cleaned up and checked in. It was a fun ride. Like the uh, the tail end dropping down from the mountain was super cold. It was cold. <laughs> uh, the ride into town after that was pretty uneventful, but the road that we were on Bethel was super fun because it was just like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And uh, the route was, you know, all things considered, pretty awesome. Definitely a lot muddier coming into town. I think mm -hmm. that side of the mountain just got more rain. We managed our timing pretty good, I think, because if we'd tried to ride it yesterday or the day before, it would have just been a yeah. no-go. It worked out, um, and it was beautiful. I mean, there's some really steep little punchy bits in there, but man, it's really neat to be able to climb, just, you know, mm -hmm. toodle along under that canopy of oaks and then get that nice view at the top. Totally recommend it. Mm -hmm. I know someone in the comments had asked, are we going to uh, publish the route? And I think I'll do that once we're all done and put like the points of interest and other suggestions. Mm -hmm. Our next riding day, we're gonna ride from Paso uh, to Slow. 
via the 101 and Quest to Grade, right? Yes. So that we've not ridden at all, so I don't know what that's going to be like. And there's a, there's a stretch of old road on the side of the highway, so that'll be nice. Get off the highway for a bit, and it looks really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that part. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it, and until next time, keep the supple side down.